Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Harris, once again joined by Justin, and today is going to be the last episode of Alice in Borderland. We're finally here. Yep, we're finally at the finale, guys. It's been a crazy ride. We started off with a trio of three, ended up losing them in episode three, two of them, I should say, in episode three. Yeah. Um, picked up another person part of the squad, and now we're finally here, and we're stuck in a crazy game of Among Us, and who knows what's going to happen in this last episode. Yeah, I mean, the people just went through all the vents and they just started destroying everybody, and it- the beach is in chaos right now at this point. It's like... It's fucking crazy where we are right now. They killed- the militants killed so many people. Uh, we saw... kind of like... thrown in character development parts, which was kind of like... What we needed, like, a little bit earlier, in my opinion. I think, like... They were nice, but they were just kind of put in places where it didn't really like resonate with me too much. You know, so we got like they felt very short. They were very they're short and out of place. Uh, we saw like uh, last bosses character backstory, Niragi's backstory, Kuina's backstory. Um, we didn't really get Chishia too much, but you know there were some epic moments with the rest of them. He took out a flamethrower gun and burned my boy alive, like. Holy shit, Kuina had like the awesome like uh, martial arts moment against Last Boss where she yep. defeated him, which was kind of sweet. Uh, and kind of the biggest thing too is Arisu now knows who the imposter is. And Anne knows, but she got taken yeah. out. Yeah, she got knocked out. So who yeah. knows if she's gonna wake up in time and what's gonna happen there. But it looks like it's one of the executives, right? That's what we talked about one, last yeah. week. And that's what we think. I think it's Jashia, you... Who did you think it was? Uh, I think it was Mira. That Mira, was... okay. Oh, that's... that's right, Mira, and it could be the second and. Or it could uh, be number guy. two. Yeah, number yeah. two. So, that, that's true. We they were suspiciously not involved in that episode, right? So not involved. Not we involved. didn't see yeah. where they were, right? We saw them like pick up the phones in like the last kind of like segment where they were just yeah. like hyping up the game, but we didn't really see them where like where they went. Uh, after. You know, Niragi and Naguni and them just came out and just kill, started killing everybody. Yeah, so they definitely need to make an appearance this episode, and I guess uh, we'll find out what happens. But yeah, I'm excited. Last episode, let's see what we get let's into. See. Before we get into it, though, if you've missed any previous episodes, be sure you check the playlist in the description down below. Make sure mm -hmm. you leave a like on the video and subscribe. We've gotten to this point, and uh, I guess leave a comment down below, you know, what your favorite part of this episode was. And, yeah, uh, and I the guess whole series more, in general too. Any like, more yeah. series? Uh, yeah, anything about the series and what else you want to see from us as well? It's been an awesome moment. Once again, we apologize for episode two. Hopefully, we won't do that again in the future. But this series has mm -hmm. been amazing so far. So yes. hopefully, we can see a nice resolution to it. And with that, let's get right into it. What is this? What the fuck is going on? Are we in some AI loop? Oh, okay, camera. Are we getting a backstory now? And That's the chick who died, right? That's Momoka? I think so. It looks like her. Does this mean that they were, like, somewhat behind, they were be somewhat behind this or something like that? Maybe. Maybe this video is going to show us they got approached by the Game Master and they've yeah. been sitting at the beach the whole time waiting for this moment. Yeah, document what the heck is going on. Yeah. Wait, what? They said they met a certain person. Like, the subtitle kind of blinked a little okay, bit too yeah. fast. That's what I thought it said. So they met somebody. And we work there now. So they met the Game Master. Must be. Okay. So she's the witch, probably. Why would she kill her, though? Like, for what purpose? Just to set everything in chaos? or? Well, if she's the witch and nobody finds out, right? She wins. Everybody else dies. So maybe that's why. She betrayed her friend, right? She betrayed her best friend. Ultimate oh. betrayal. Bro, what's about to happen? So they really focus on Momo. So is is Momoka actually the witch? It's yeah, definitely not this guy. He's it's also not this fishy. I don't think it's this guy. Uh oh. Dude, how many why more people can here? you kill? Yeah. Dude. Bro, what if you're the witch? Yeah, what if you're the witch? Oh, Risu time? The hero comes in. 
Oh yeah, I thought he knew who he was. Oh. Ow! What the oh. fuck? Bro, my nose. He's telling you. <laughs> my nose. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Why doesn't somebody uh? Wait, Fucking if he hell, was man. If he was really the witch, wouldn't he just kill Arisu? Oh, finally asking some real questions. Yeah, though. right. Not... It's you, Aguri. <laughs> Wait, what? Is he really? Or is no, he just No, there's playing? no way. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody point the guns at him! <laughs> he's gonna be like... Nah, he's gonna say, shoot me. He didn't get that scar on his eye for a reason. He punched a tiger. He's been through it all, man. Okay, but why would that not make him the witch? Yeah. They would, I guess he's saying they would make the witch somebody you wouldn't expect, right? A Goonies might be too obvious. It's too obvious, yeah. What the hell? What is all these mind games going on right now? Oh, they're gonna confirm what we already know, bro. Yep. Yeah, he killed Hatter. Yeah. Wait, so did he just want everybody to die because he lost Hatter? Was that his motive? He says, without Hatter in this world, I'm just going to let everybody die. I guess that's that's a real heavy price. Was he just like drunk with power? Is that what, what this was? Or was Aguni really just Hatter's like right hand man the whole time and... Dude, Arisa's been through it. Fucking suffocated in a hotel room. Probably has his nose broken. <laughs> Wait, Hatter's crazy ways. Aguni's the one who's fucking crazy. Was it because he, like, because he's the head honcho of the beach, like, he lost himself? Like, he turned into someone different? I will create a utopia. So they've been together since the beginning of the they've entered this realm so. Mm -hmm. so i guess maybe their original plan was to bring everybody together and then hatter lost it and then he just wanted to control he wanted to make some sort of like false hope quote unquote for people yeah. to give somebody something to believe in right that's yeah but i guess aguni did not like that what the fuck just what happened the here? fuck is this Oh, this is what pushed uh, Aguni to kill Hatter. Yeah, yeah, he got too crazy. Dude, I've never seen Aguni lose it. It looks like he's about to lose it now. Yeah, dude. Dude, what are you guys gonna do? <laughs> Fucking drag yeah, him. He's you. literally he punched a tiger, bro. Dude, somebody save him. Fuck, man. He's oh, he's so fucked up. Oh shit! So can you even get back to the real world? How do you get back now? Is it just through the game master? Or is it even possible? Yeah, or is it even possible? It seemed like a good lie if you collect the cards. I believe this. Because like, what else is the point of the cards? Just to like mark the difficulty. Bro, this sucks. But this is like um. Arisu and his friends. Very similar dynamic right here. Ah, uh, he said king. That's a red flag. Bro, do you think Hatter tried to kill Aguni and then Aguni just said, I have to kill you? Oh, shit. Bro, what is about to happen? Oh! So he didn't want to do it. Dude, Arisu got fucked up, man. This, this know, hurts to him. watch. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still standing up. <laughs> like, he has no water or food in him either, right? Like, he's literally yeah. running on adrenaline. Alright, so there must be a Game Master. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was thinking there might not be, but... Damn, Aguni's crying. But... Yeah, new dumbasses went along with it, exactly. How many innocent people did you kill? Arisu knows! 
連れ子の麻薬の解決が本当はあったのかもしれない。Oh, we're going back to episode three. てる人間が。Dude, we talked about that, right? Maybe there was a way. What? Oh my god, it's her! Oh, that's what you said! That's what I said! Of, I, uh, that's what you said! She killed herself! It's her! She knew about it too, probably! Why are you kicking him? <laughs> yeah, he just saved your life. I mean, honestly, it would be hard to believe, though. Dude, just throw her in the fire. Like, end this now. End this now. Aguni is just going crazy. Now. Yeah, he's nuts. He's Come on, everybody. Dude, he's gonna 1v50. Somebody's gonna have to kill him. Somebody's, Somebody's gonna, gonna, gonna do something, yeah. Just body slammed up. Jill, bro. There's no bullets. Damn, he was never gonna kill him, and this is probably why he's so upset now. <laughs> That's why she she's the dealer. Okay. What the fuck just Oh Bro, whoa, I have chills right. What the fuck just happened? So the person that they met in the video recording is the, the game, game master. master they gave so they've had instructions this whole time oh it's ann okay L let me see let's go ann give us the reverse oh that, that yeah look at that herself yeah she stabbed herself script. yeah oh shit. Dude, you know how much this sucks how many people died when it was just so, so many simple people. yeah, yeah. Where the fuck is Mira and number two? Where are they hiding at? Alright, so even if they throw Momoka's body in the fire, how do you even move on after this? What happens? The beach, beach is... It's this, gone. It's it gone. It can't exist. No, it can't exist everybody, anymore. Everybody go their separate ways. <laughs> I mean, well, what happens? Oh! What, what is the fuck is this now? No, don't tell me Naragi's still alive. Naragi survived? No he survived way. the fall and being set on fire? You're kidding. Just stay down and crawl. Don't run because you're going to get hit by a straight bullet. Yeah. Crawl. Oh, oh my God. no. Bro, there are going to be like five people who make it out of this in the end. Use your speed. That's... Yo, that's Dude, he has a scarred body. Target that. Dude, how does he have so much strength left? He literally fell off a building and was burned. Dude, what the fuck is this? Oh, no chance. Shit, dude. No, no, wait, oh, wait. Oh! Oh, he's taking the bullet. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? He, he, he must have had like five bullets passed through him. Oh, somebody just throw Momoka in the fire Throw now. Momoka in the fire! Hurry the fuck up! Oh, does he notice something? Wait, she has two phones. Yeah. Oh shit, her work phone? <laughs> Congrats! Where's Chishia? He was suspiciously not involved there. Oh, there was the card. Yep, they didn't take it. That means somebody had to put the card there. Oh, uh, uh, what do you know? Didn't we just find out that it was made up? But management now there's a team. management team? Well, the dealers, right? Oh, they're back at this place from uh, episode 4. So they've been setting up games they've the whole time? All the games. What the fuck? This is like some escape room type shit. Oh, there are multiple dealers then. Yeah. Okay, so they're not only two.
Wow. Wait, if they're being monitored, then they should also have been monitored that they were recording this. Asayu has been recording this the whole time. What the fuck? It's like a whole central hub. What is this? What? There's multiple people in involved in this. There's so many hubs too. Yeah, like they have cameras to everywhere. Why? Government. Place your bets. I got a 10-day visa. The dealers are part of like... if The dealers have visas, right? They have to plan games to extend their visas, maybe? But what's maybe. the deal? What's the point of this, though? Look, they're... Or do they Holy gamble shit. on this? Is that what they say? I got somebody with a 10-day visa. Do, are they like... Do they assign people? Yeah. Dealer, Dealer wins. wins. Shit. Damn, this sucks. Honestly, I can't really blame them. They were put yeah. in like it's such a terrible position and then... Bro, there's gonna be nothing down there. I bet they've already moved, changed their base, or... It's just them two. What happened to the rest of the, the squad? I guess they probably knew that she recorded it. They leaked, yeah. so they just went to their backup site. Because I said it says B, so maybe there's like an A. What if this is like a Skynet situation? Oh, they're all dead. Oh, what? Oh, of course. It's our boy. Dude, you still are so sketchy to me. I don't trust you for one second. Oh, that was that. Oh? From episode two. Wow. That's what that was. Remember we thought there was some weird ass symbol? Yeah. Oh, the subway. subway right. Way. But how does he know they were killed after their victory? What the hell? Answer. Give me an answer. It's Mira! Oh my god. This is so fucked. We? Who's we? Oh no. The face cards, yeah. yeah. They're all separate. So all all the cards are clear, now they're just face card games. Shit. Are we gonna get the new squad formation then? These four? We're turning it to Hunter Hunter now? Fuck! Where did this blimp come from? Oh, we're getting a fucking king? Wait. King of Spades, no way. Is this whole thing the game arena now? Oh shit, there's blimp, multiple blimps. Wait, what, what the fuck? Each blimp is the game. You have to get on the blimp. Wow. Bro, what a way to end the show. Yeah, like, I want more. This isn't enough for me. I want more. I'm invested. Same. I mean, it did get announced as a season two, so thankfully for that. Don't yeah. know when it's coming out, but it did get announced. Uh, thanks for somebody who put that in the comments and we ended up seeing that, so that's uh, good news there. But still, like, I feel like we didn't, we got some stuff answered, but just opened the door to so, so much many more. more questions. I mean, where do you want to start? I guess, like, We'll wrap up, I guess, the game. Like, in the end, it ended up being Momoka, which you called at the end of episode six. I did six. call it. We, we, it's in our post discussion, so you guys want to check that out. It is there. But it ended up being Momoka, and um, that is definitely one of the biggest betrayals, right? How is anybody yeah. ever going to find that How out? How is everyone going to say it was her, but Arisu and Anne came in clutch? No, for like, sure. Shit. The combo there. But yeah. so many people had to die for nothing, basically. Which is um, ridiculous. All because of, like, a Hatter, uh, yeah, Hatter became out of control. So he basically fail-saved himself, like, for Aguni to, like, kill him and keep him in check. Mm -hmm. And then Aguni, like, you know, Hatter died and Aguni basically lost everything. And he just snapped. So he, so he, wanted to take, yeah. he just wanted to take down everybody, which is just insane.
Okay, do we think he's dead? We didn't get a confirmation of his body, right? No, I don't think he is because if he, if this man can punch a fucking tiger, he could survive he can, five bullets. He can survive like five or six bullets. Yeah, no problem. So we think Naragi is dead, though. Please, we didn't see I hope... either body. We didn't see yeah, either no, body. Yeah, he just he, he took him and then he shoved them somewhere else. Maybe he is alive too. You know, if he survived getting like flamed and jumping off a building or some shit, then hey, whatever. I'll believe anything. <laughs> Hey, we've seen an anime power-ups, but yeah. still, that's pretty crazy. Um, last boss is definitely dead, though. I think we, we could... I think so, yeah. He probably assume. just he just sat there, and then the whole place burned to the floor. Yeah, and he said at the end, I'm free now, finally. That felt like just like his wrap-up, so... Yep. Um, I think he's dead, so... I guess, in the end, we lost two executive, one executive and the Hatter. Confirmed. I don't know what happened to the other two, right? right? Yeah, like, we, we, we don't know lose. what number two, where number two went, or... Um... There was somebody else, right? I don't know. That was Mira, right? It was Mira, but yeah, like... That was. Okay, because I... They they were talking like they didn't know who that was. Like, uh, Usagi asked, who is that? She definitely saw Mira when she was there. She wasn't part of the execs, but she definitely saw her. And then, um... Kuina was like, I would rather see anybody else but her. It's like, nobody seemed surprised and said, wait, is that Mira? Like, which made me, like, second guess, like... Yeah, because she was that executive of the beach, and then... But nobody had the reaction like, oh shit, that's Mira. And like, when no, somebody her, said Mira. They did? Okay, and then I missed yeah. it. Alright. So then Usagi must have asked who that person is, probably because she never saw her, I guess. She was never in like the office or anything, right? Well, I mean, like, Mira walks around, right? So I would assume mm. that they saw because uh, Arisu is like, was around the executive, so yeah. I would assume, but maybe she yeah, never saw her. Um, so then, those are the two that are unaccounted for, right? Mira, we have no idea where she is, and the second in command, they're clearly connected. Yeah. Um, and they probably dipped out real quick because they knew it was going to happen, right? They were like, yeah, okay, we know what's going to happen here, and they just hid somewhere probably. Or maybe there was an escape door that they could get out. Yeah. Um, but damn. And I mean, that was only like the first half, and I guess now, we, like, the second half is when we found out what Asahi Fat was recording. There are multiple dealers. There were multiple um, dealers, yeah. There's also, it looks like there are multiple game designers too, right? The people who designed the game in the underground place. Yeah, we um, don't know if it's, if that's the only central hub or there are like multiple hubs like stationed around Japan. There must be multiple, right? Because they have there more has games to be. now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and all those blimps at the end coming out of nowhere, they have to come from somewhere. So it's like. True. Holy and shit. If each of those blimps is a game like a I think it card. is, that means those game arenas are very small, right? They're mm -hmm. inside a blimp. So or the blimps could take them or, there. Those one yeah, the blimps things. are yeah. probably like hovering over somewhere and then the arena's like down below it or something yeah. like that. Possible too. But we have all the cards now. Like they're out. We won't yeah, when the next season have... comes out. Like it's literally it's just, just complete face blimps. Cards. Yeah. It's face cards, yep. This is very hunger games type shit and like I like this. It's crazy. Like, I like it. So, I guess to like kind of wrap everything up and to see what questions we don't know yet. Why this is happening, Yeah. how this happened, and who yeah. is at the top top. Is it a human? Because Chishia it... said at the end there, it could be an alien or God himself, right? Mm. So I guess we still don't know if it's something else. Because if like... it was a person, how the fuck did Mira organize all of this? Like. For sure, like it would be so weird. Unless it's like a group of people, like like super rich, rich, rich people that like just sit around and they do like fucked up shit. Like, all right, why don't we screw around with Japan? But Japan, like as a whole, right? How could they control Japan? It's like, yeah, it's like, did they overthrow the government? Is this the government, or it's like, what's what's the deal here? What is the true borderland? Like, why did this happen? Yeah, what's the end game, right? Why yeah. did this happen? Like you said, where? What is the purpose? Like, where are they going with this? Like, they just pitted everybody against everyone in these games and killed so many people. Is this just a way of like getting rid of the population? Like, what? They got rid of so many people at this point. It's like shit. I know. Like, how many people are left? I mean, so where do you think number two is? It wasn't. Could you think he's working with Mira? I, I think. Sure. It's safe I, to I assume. Think so. Yeah. yeah, I think that they're there. Um, it's kind of crazy that if they are one of the like 
higher up executives, if you want to call I shouldn't say executives because they get confusing, but one of the higher up people for the game master, like they took a risk by being in the beach. They did. Um, like they could have died, right? N Naragi or Aguni could have just shot them. So, But I guess they saw like Hatter's ideology as like, a, uh, like some sort of risk or something, and they just probably went with it. Okay, now it makes idea. more sense why they did the, they, um, as soon as Hatter died, that's when it became... That's uh, when the, the game happened. Yeah. Because uh, Mira must have reported somewhere and been like, okay, this person's dead. So obviously they were, something was with Hatter, right? There was a reason they waited for him to die. So maybe there's something we don't know yet about Hatter. Maybe he was special or maybe he was keeping things together or maybe like... Maybe it's like because they just saw him as like a powerful person because he formed this idea, this collective effort. Potentially, maybe they saw him as like somebody who could lead a revolt or something. If he's like, oh, what if he gets too big and he can lead like an uprising or something? But but you know, Hatter already came with a plan. If he ever got too big, I know. But they, uh, he ended up dying and then caused a chain reaction that massacred basically half of the people we known in the show, probably even more. Yep. But. Wow, there's so much that has happened. Like, I'm trying to process all the eight episodes that we watched and trying to make it yeah, connect what to this a, episode. What a fucking ride, man. For sure. I like this series. I, I guess, like, we'll end with closing thoughts or something. Like, fuck, man. Oh, this yeah, is so insane. what is overall ranking, reaction? Um... Okay, I think. So, I like the world, right? I like the world. I like the setting. I like the plot. I, I think my one gripe of this series was maybe there's not enough character development in a sense it's like they they tried putting it in there but it was in very obscure spots you know no i agree with that it and felt i rushed. wanted it felt a little bit rushed i wanted them placed into better spots to flow towards like a greater narrative in a sense um we just got it in really random parts so i don't think they probably uh, like, brought everybody's character to the potential that they deserve. Arisu, no, that's fair. Arisu, I think, has, like, the best, because, you know, he's the main character. He he's has the, the main character, yeah. So we, uh, we have a bunch of, like, him. We have a bunch of Usagi. We don't know much about, like, Chishia, you know? Like, not much about him. He's just some dude who's there, you know? We never got really backstory of him. We just got, like, him there you know now he's a, like part of the main squad at the end uh and didn't really get too much we just know that she was like some sort of like forensic scientist forensic mm -hmm. like thing mm -hmm. um we tried getting a, a little bit of uh like karube and chota and shibuki like they got i think probably enough but i think chota we didn't get enough because like he's was his parents like in like some sort of like cult or something like that there was like that religion thing that doesn't really no, true. Unless really it, there's something in season answer, two like answer, that yeah. connects back to it, then it would feel like so random and out of place, right? If they don't connect yep. it back to season two somehow. But yeah, I definitely agree there. Like even the big emotional episode that was supposed to be in season three, it was obviously a really powerful episode that I felt it could have been done better if we had more development between the other two, right? Chota and Karubi, just more of their friendship, seeing how they connected. Um, yeah. I thought they did a good job, but I, I thought it could have been a little more powerful with a little bit more backstory and making us feel for those characters more. Exactly. But I uh, think they, yeah. well, I think with this live adaptation, they probably focused. They wanted to drive the story and the world itself more than bringing out the potential of characters, which is like a, probably a trade off that you're gonna have to make with it when you're making a live action because it's like, you know, this is only eight episodes, and we got through so much. Um, no, for we sure. We don't the even second... know, like all the other games, right? Did the uh, did Shibuki like early on? Was she a part of other games too? That I wanted to know more about what these games were. Uh, Chishia's past, you know, was he part of like some amazing games and stuff? Kuina herself, and like the rest of them. I wanted to see. There had to have been like more games involved if you wanted to bring out these characters. But I guess like. It's a lot of characters, it's a lot of games, they didn't really have that much time, so I understand. Right? With no, this live adaptation. Sure. If there was a dedicated anime to it, we probably would have seen everything. Or if I wanted to see everything, I have to go read the manga. That's true, we don't probably... know if the manga actually 
did it like this or did the live adaptation cut stuff? I mean, the manga might have... Oh, I'm, like, I'm sure the live adaptation cut a lot of stuff. Like, there's... Once again, like I said, there's no way that they would have been able to fit everything. You know? I mean, yeah, for sure. We would have had, like, four seasons at this point. No, you could have definitely made at least three, or like you said, four. Out of all the information we hear, they could have dragged stuff Because there's so many people, we would have to focus on them, we'd have to focus on their games and stuff, and then have them all connect to a point where, you know, we could get up to, like, the beach, for example, right? No, for sure. Like, if we, like, even thinking about it right now, all of Season 1 could have just been Arisu, Karubi, Karubi and Chota, and then end of Season 1 could have been Episode 3, right? They died, and yeah, then could have sure. had Season that's 2 how, being... I think that's how the OVA ends. Which people did not like, right? It was a three episode like OVA thing, and I think it ended with that episode three, oh, and then okay. they didn't make any more. I see. Okay. So that's why there wasn't like a dedicated, I guess, anime towards this. I don't know. Someone in the comments can let me know. But this live adaptation, though, hell yeah, I I, yeah. I liked it. I'm I'm satisfied with what I watched. I'll give it like, I'll give Alice in Borderland eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. Uh, so I guess my final thoughts and reaction, I'd probably give it 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. Sure. I really enjoyed it. The gripes, small gripes you had, I also agree with. Could have been more character development. I thought some parts, like episode 4, for example, just felt kind right, of it, it weird felt out and of place. unnecessary. Um, like, I understand they were trying to build Usagi and Arisu's relationship, right? But I felt like they could have done that through multiple episodes while also progressing the story. That episode didn't yeah, feel like I think it progressed With much. the weight of the situation, too, it would have to have been drawn out. Like, you have to have more padded on to that because it, was, it didn't seem enough. You know, it was like, oh, 10 minutes? Like, I met you, like, on the side of the road. Uh, you're fine. Let's go to no, a next for game, sure. you know? Like, yeah. that's how it felt for me, right? That's something, like, the trauma and the... You have to, like, pad that up with as much content as possible. Like, in that sort of scenario for me. Which I is agree. why I just wanted more. I think for, like... I think the manga probably definitely, like, adds a bunch to that. There's probably, like, so many chapters that just, like, dealt with this. And then they lead into that particular game. Um, you know... No, I see what you mean for sure. It could definitely be like how they were building up to that point rather than cutting it down to fit into an eight episode live adaptation like we're talking exactly. about. But, um, maybe we'll get more like character development in season two, especially for the characters we mentioned, Chashia, maybe a little bit more Kuina, even though we have gotten a little bit. Um, I expect us to find out more about Mira number two. I mean, and Anne too, because we got nothing. Even yep. a little more for us, Usagi, right? We got a little bit about her, but I feel like we, we could still get more. Um, I don't think we got like her early journey in the Borderlands, right? We just no. got like yeah, you know, the rock climber girl. Yeah, her uh, dad, father yeah. was caught up in some sort of scandal regarding climbing like some sort of mountain or anything like that. But that's about it. We didn't really get her like early game in the Borderlands. No, for sure. Like the and, first uh, time that we saw her in a game was Tag. Yeah, I mean, we, we, like looking back on that game, there was a lot of setup stuff to get to this point, right? Like things we didn't even realize, like the subway tunnels. But um, well, uh, that makes me wonder now if we have seen like small other things that might not have seemed important that will become important in season two, right? But uh, I guess we'll have to find that out. But yeah, overall, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. and I'm definitely excited for season yeah, two. Yeah, this was great. I cannot wait for season two. And I, I might be tempted to read the manga. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, let's see. Let's see when I'm season tempted. two comes out. I'm tempted. First. I want to know more about this. This is a great setting. This is a great idea. I, I wish there were. I don't think there's a physical English version, sadly. I have to just like read it online, but I I'm tempted because like I want to know more. I want to know more about like the game, like the different types of games and stuff. I want to know. I just want to consume as much Alice in Borderlands. This is For a great sure. They, they definitely left it off at a good cliffhanger. I also want to know more. Yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, let us know if you wanted to know more after you guys finished the series or your final thoughts. You excited for season two as well? Just like the both of us, we are definitely yeah. hyped for this next season and uh, we can't wait. Appreciate everyone coming on the journey with us. Um, if you like the video, be sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And if you're existing, if you're already watching, please sure you subscribe. Uh, I guess let us know down below what other types of series you want to see us watch. Yep. And things like that. And with that, this has been a hell of a series. Yep. And, uh, thanks for coming along. Yep. And see we you. will see you all in the next one. Take care.